Let's start this week by hearing from Jamal Lascelles, the captain of championship leaders Newcastle, who face a pivotal period in their promotion bid. After Bristol City at St James's Park this weekend, they play successive away games against Brighton, Huddersfield and Reading, the three teams currently occupying second, third and fourth places in the table. Jamal, what a run of fixtures you've got coming up. Will the next few weeks define your season, do you think? Well, yeah. I mean, um, you know, we've got some really tough games coming up. But again, we've always said it as players and the manager shows to us that we just got to take every game um, as it comes and, uh, you know, just prepare for, pre- prepare for the next game. Come out of these games unscathed, though, and you would be in a fantastic position, wouldn't you? Can you think that far ahead? Yeah, I mean, of course, it would be, uh, obviously be nice to win every game you play, but ultimately we've, we've still got to play the 90 minutes and uh, we know it's going to be tough, tough, tough opposition. So uh, all we can do is... Um, build momentum going into these games and uh, it starts by winning on Saturday. That game at Brighton next Tuesday, the top two going head to head, it's already been put back once because it was originally scheduled for an FA Cup weekend. Has this fixture been looming in your minds for a while? No, not really. Um, obviously, yeah, it is, it is in Brighton battling for, uh, bat- battling for that top spot. But, um, you know, again, it's another team. Um, pretty sure if we're on it on the day, then uh, we'll win. So, um you know, in the championship, it's, I think it's whoever turns up on the day and whoever wants it the most. At the moment, you you lead the way, Brighton a second. Does first or second matter that much? Is it all about finishing in one of those two places? No, nah, not for me. Obviously, of course, we'd, we'd, we'd be wanting to win, uh, win and come, come first. But, um, you know, and I'm pretty sure they will as well. So it's, it's going to be tough competition. And uh, like you said, these games coming up are going to be massive for us. So... Uh, we just got to make sure everyone's fit and uh, ready to go. After Brighton, it's Huddersfield away. How impressed have you been with them this season? I mean, they beat you at St James's Park very early in the season, but are you surprised that they've managed to keep it up? Um, no, Huddersfield have got a good squad. Um, you know, their front four players are very bright. They're good going forwards, and uh, I think they've won that the last six games. So, um, you know, it's going to be a diff- it's going to be a difficult game against them as well. But all we can do is uh, concentrate on ourselves and make sure we just keep getting the three points. You've already said one game at a time and Rafa Benitez was very keen after you beat Aston Villa on Monday night to concentrate solely on Bristol City. Has he been drumming that into you this week? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, today we've been um, working on what we can do to beat them and you know, our defensive shape. So the preparation for Brighton, will, will, it will start soon. But, you know, obviously, uh, you know, teams come to St James's Park and they'll want to turn up against us because obviously it's a massive stage. It's a massive show for them to play on. So, um Teams will come here and they want to try and impress and uh, make it as hard for us as they can. So uh, we just got to make sure that we, we get this job done first before we think about anything else. You'll be without Dwight Gale, of course, for these crucial games after he aggravated a hamstring injury against Aston Villa on Monday. He'd only just come back from a month out and now you'll be without him for another month. He scored 20 goals already, but you cope without him before. Can you can you cope without him again? Yeah, we've got players that can slot in. You know, Mitro, uh, Darren Murphy come in, done a great job, um, scored a few goals. Mitro's come in, and um, you know, obviously he's done a great job as well. But as long as we're winning games, you know, we've got play, we've got a good squad in depth and a lot of players that can fill in in, in different positions and uh, competition in in every position really. So uh, obviously, yeah, it's a bit of a blow. Our, our main our main striker, obviously, twenty plus goals. Um, having a slight hamstring injury, but um, he'll be back soon. And uh, He's frustrated at the minute, but he'll be wanting to get back on, on the grass and uh, helping us out. Could you tell he wasn't quite right on Monday? He only had four touches of the ball in the half hour he was on, and of course his girlfriend's just had a baby, and that, that can't help with the fatigue, can it? I'm not too sure. I mean, I know, I know myself it's hard coming back from injuries, but you know, he worked hard and unfortunately he felt his hamstring, so um, he, he did the sensible choice to come off and... Uh, you know, he'd be only out for another couple of weeks, maybe. So, um, yeah, he's just, he's just working on the gym, trying to get fit. You're causing problems in the opposition box yourself at the moment. What's with all these flicks that you're getting? Well, you're causing havoc in there, aren't you? Yeah, I'm surprising myself at the minute, to be honest. Um, but no, I, just, I don't know. I just try and make myself a nuisance. And, uh, the ball just keeps falling to me in a good area. So, um, to be honest, with you, I'm, I'm more... I'm more concerned what goes down on the other end and uh, I'd rather be getting clean sheets and uh, doing my part that way. But, um, you know, as long as 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 we're getting three points, that's, that's the main thing.
You really thought you scored that second goal on Monday, didn't you? Fortunately, we didn't have to break the news to you because the PA had already announced it as a, a Henry Lansbury own goal, which actually caused the biggest cheer of the night. Have you seen it back and accept perhaps it, it wasn't yours after all? Well, I'm still claiming it's mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 was going on, it was going in. It, it was, yeah, it was going in, it hit the post, it came back off, off Henry Lansbury. I mean, of course, the fans enjoyed that because of the role that Henry had played for, for Forrest against Newcastle earlier in the season when two of your teammates were sent off. I and mean, you know Henry from, from Forrest, of course, so I doubt you took any pleasure from it, did you? Especially as it meant it, it wasn't your goal in the end. Yeah, no, of course. I mean, obviously, when, uh, when it got announced it was an own goal, the fans all cheered and uh, they were all pleased, obviously, he scored an own goal because of what he'd done to us. But... Um, yeah, again, I, I guess I just fell in the right right place again and then managed to get a little switch on it and he finished it off for me. And you said defensively that's the most important side of things. I mean, you really have developed a great understanding with Kieran Clark, very solid lately, very commanding. How much have you worked on that? Yeah, um, well, me, me and Kieran, we're not just uh, not just tight in, on the pitch, but we're, you know, we're, we're good friends. We car share every day back and forth from, uh, from where we live. Um, you know, we see each other quite a lot outside of football, so you know we've got we've got quite a good bond, and uh, I do think it carries out. You know, in training, in games, and uh, the manager's always working on us, um, working, working, um, they're working on us, and uh, you know, but um, little things, body shape, positioning, and um, I do think it pays off. So we just got to concentrate and uh, just keep keep trying our best, really. You seem to relish heading everything away. Did you always want to be a centre back? When most kids grow up dreaming of scoring goals, not keeping them out. Were you different? Um, well, I don't know really. Um, I remember not in the forest used to head the ball a lot, but surprisingly the other night the keeper, their keeper, just kept kicking it my way. Um, I wasn't complaining, but you know I always seem to win a lot of headers. But you know I'll always it's not, it's not one of my main strengths, but I'll always you know I'll always try and win the ball and be aggressive and you know that's what I was doing the other night so uh, it helped the team out What's the main thing that's keeping you going at the moment this level of intensity is that is it the carrot of being back in the Premier League is it Rafa Benitez and his meticulous approach is it the huge crowds you're getting that are roaring you on is it all these things I think it's a combination um, you know the fans have a massive part to play um, you know how supportive they are on match day and you know on social media how you know they're always behind us, and that does have a massive play to, uh, part to play because we feel like we need to show them something back when it comes match day. Um, but on the other side, you know we've got players in here. You know we've got winners, big characters, players that have been here and done that, and um, everyone's we've got a real, real good understanding of what we need to do. And of course, we've got the manager leading us the right direction. So, like I said, a combination of things. Um, and if you know if we all feel focused and we can't, we can't go too far wrong. So before you tackle these three huge away games, Bristol City on Saturday, now they need the points as well. They're only just above the relegation zone. In some ways, does, does that help the fact that they're going into it, putting everything on the line, so there can't be any complacency from either side? Of course, yeah. I think people might have um, mentioned or questioned that a couple of times earlier on in the season with complacency, but I think that's out the window now. Um, you know, we haven't, we haven't got the type of, type of players to show complacency. Um, we all we all want to get promotion. We all want to win. We'll fight for each other, and um, we've all got a never say die attitude. And you know, it, pay, it does pay off in games. So um, yeah, I de- definitely don't think complacency is anything to come into it now. So uh, you know, it will be a tough game at Bristol, but at the same time, um, you know, any team we play, we feel like we can we can beat them. And then after Bristol City, focus solely on, on Brighton after that, the top two. And that's a massive game, isn't it, on Tuesday? Yeah, of course. It's, it's a huge game. Um, you know, they're going, to be fl- they're going to be at it from the start and so are we. So uh, I think it's going to come down to who wants it more at the end of the day because they've got talent, we've got talent. So um, they'll be looking to get us back as well because obviously we beat them two and then our place earlier on in the season. But, you know, we're all looking, we're all looking forward to it and uh, we'll uh, prepare for pre- prepare for that game soon after the Bristol game. Excellent. We're looking forward to it too. Thank you very much, Jamal.